In this video, we're going to be focusing on applying styling to a pre-existing chart. So our goal is to be able to build the chart that you're seeing in the top left-hand corner of this dashboard. Now we did already build this out in a previous dashboard, so I'm just going to switch to that dashboard where we have our basic elements of the chart. Now in order to get started, we're going to add a frame control to this dashboard first. The frame control really complements the chart as it gives us a title that we can use. So it's just a matter of positioning the frame over top of the chart, right clicking, and rearranging the chart to be in front or the frame behind. You can dock a frame to a chart if you wanted to, but in the case of this it's easier just to position elements on top of one another if you wanted to have a lot with very precise locations for everything. It's up to you how you end up doing it. Let's click on the frame, and we're going to go to the Properties grid on the right-hand side. So you'll notice that I'm in the Look section of the Properties grid, and I want you to focus particularly on the Title Background. Now what you'll see is the Title Background is currently set to Dundas Blue. This is a solid color where we don't have any gradients, it's just one color that's all you get as the Title Bar. You can change this color or use the sliders in order to see the different colors available. Now I can change this using the brush attribute to a linear gradient brush. This allows me to basically have a color travel from, in this case, black all the way to white. And you can control that using this gradient slider that I'm showing you right now. Clicking on one of the triangles in the slider will focus the color that you want to change. And now we're just going to change the angle so that we start from top to bottom. So let's click on the gradient that we want to change, and let's set the colors that we want to do. So I already know the color that I want to see, so I'm just typing this in directly. But you can certainly play with the sliders in order to just look and see what you might want to use. Let's finish up uh, the secondary color. And there you see it, we have our first style applied to the frame. Now the rest of the work we're going to be doing is focused specifically on the chart. So let's actually go over to the text property now and change the title of the frame. So you'll notice that there's a property in here called title text, which is currently set to frame. I'm going to change that to the title of the text that we had in our sample dashboard. You'll also notice that, looking down, there's a bunch of other properties that you can set in terms of text. For example, color, or in my case, font weight, which I want to make a bit bolder. And font size, it's all there for you. Now the next issue that you're going to see, uh, compared to the chart that we were showing, is that both these bars in the other example, one was appearing on top of the other. One was a big one, one was a smaller one, giving context to the next. If we go into the series property for the chart, the reason for this is because both series are set to bar. And with a bar chart, it will automatically try to share the amount of space available for each unique category. For example, frozen, meat, packaged goods. Let's change this to a stacked bar. So one's a bar, one's a stacked bar. And what you'll see is because these aren't compatible, they'll just try to put them on top of one another. So now, in going to the layout, I can change this property here called the cluster gap, which is the amount of space in between both of these bars. You'll notice as I start playing with this property, one bar shrinks, the other one gets larger. Let's make the other one larger, which will give us exactly what I wanted to see, whereas one bar is superimposed on top of the other. Now let's go over to the look properties. And you'll see that there's various properties here for fill, for stroke, stroke width, and the type of stroke that you're seeing. Stroke, by the way, is just the border that you're going to get. So if you were to set these properties on the individual series, then it would change the color for that series specifically. Now there is a more preferred way to do this. If you go back to the root property of the chart, you'll notice there's a section here called palettes. And these are the colors and styles that will be set in order for each series on your chart. 
So this first one that I opened, you can see the fill, the stroke, all the properties that are available in that set design. So the first one that you're seeing, the blue, is the first series, so that's why it's becoming blue. The second one is the darker blue, which again is the reason the second one is being applied. The others are available in the palette, but are not yet being used because there's only two series. Changing the order of these, as you see with me cycling them, will change the colors in the chart that you're going to see. So let's just get this order set up properly. I'm just going to move these up and down until I get the right colors. These are two that I predefined. This isn't part of the actual Dundas palette that we give you out of the box, but it just save me some time in entering these for you. Now I'm going to go in and change the stroke here. You'll notice that in doing that, it will change the actual color or the border around the series. So I need something a little bit darker because these two colors are kind of blending together right now. So let's just lighten that a little bit using the color picker. And that'll be my first stroke. Going back into the palette and selecting the second set of colors in the palette, let's set the stroke again. So again, starting at a black, I'm just going to open up the brush and set the brightness to be something a little bit lower. Set the stroke width and then of course change the stroke type to be a solid line. And there now you'll see I have a reasonably good illustration of what I was trying to create here. And as you can see, styling a chart is really just a matter of changing properties. Play with the various properties that are there and you'll eventually get the chart looking the way you'd like it.